she went to the netherworld with that sorcerer? This is so dangerous. Oh, I'm so nervous. Uh, he may still be nearby. She's been looking gloomy ever since she returned. If I may ask, why are you so frightened? My grandfather, King Valentine, has escaped the netherworld. The deceased king? But how? My grandfather was interested in the cauldron. If that is true, it must surely refer to the great cauldron that appears in the prophecies. Is this the beginning of the end of the world? I do not know. It is impossible to speculate the motives of a king who has escaped the netherworld. You have such great wisdom. Do you know of any way to prevent this destruction, Father? Hmm. A single ring controls the cauldron. The ring? ...that my grandfather was wearing? Indeed, the Ring of Titrell. If that ring is used to stop the cauldron, no one can restart it, not even a king. Where is this ring now? It's in the Fairy Kingdom, where the cauldron has been taken. I shall sneak in and recover the ring. What are you saying? Velvet! I would rather fight against death than wait for my cursed destiny to take me. I know a man who can magically send himself there, if I asked him. If you're discovered, all Puka will be labeled as criminals. Please, do not tell anyone of this. I don't want anyone else involved. Moving in the shadows will not hide you from the fairies for long. That is when this chain shall protect me. We find ourselves in Ringford. Time to reclaim the ring. So, at what point is... Alright, who has the ring and why? We can check here. At this point in time... This would be... Odin approves of Cornelius' skill. Alright, so this is before Gwendolyn's thing starts. So, by this point, the ring is owned by the fairies, as well as the cauldron. So, we would obtain the ring, which would then transition into us eventually going to the battlefield during the chapter one... During that... During the big battle, the beginning of Gwendolyn's story. We would go there and then turn off the cauldron. So, that's where we are in the timeline. Clogged with leaves. Let's go ahead and clear those up. I'm like, well, blow them away, I guess. Good to know that I actually have a decent idea of how that shit works. Alright, let's go ahead and equip Spirit Stone, which gives us more PP, and Item Drop Rate Stone. We can use those for a time. I'd show off the new skill I picked up, but it takes quite a bit to use. Let me... It's a fire pillar. It's exactly what you would expect a fire pillar to be. It's... You can shoot a pillar to... It's just a pillar. Uh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch where I have those bound. Uh, flare shot, you can go here. And fire pillar, you can go to, to my down. I like having moves that... I like having moves that make sense in the direction that I'm pressing the button. Fire pillar, I'm shooting a fire pillar onto the ground. Uh, flare shot, I'm shooting something forward. But it also can treat it like a blaster shot in a way. So long as it somewhat makes sense. Like, this kind of makes sense. So long as I can easily recognize where my skill's gonna go with what button press, I'm cool with it. It's, it's like he kept blocking and decided to not pay attention to where whether I moved or not. Classic. Classic foot soldier.
Alright. Oh no, we're a baby now. Well, in a world where even the Phozons are bigger, I'm gonna take this seed. Uh, you want to cancel the dwarf state? Yeah. I need to plant stuff anyway. Hold on. Specifically, that muggle. Ah, fuck it. I'll, I'll plant both. Probably get this cubes band. Let me get that. Oh god, everything's so big. Hold on, cancel the state. I'm actually I'm accidentally gonna miss getting this muggle. Ah oh, fuck! I can't get it! Oh Jesus. I almost fucking made my thing overripe. This damn fungus. I'm so bad. I'm so awful. Not even enough to level. It'll get me close, though. Within, like, 27 points there. Alright, let's go. Apparently there's some sort of uh, puzzling thing I need to do here. It's gotta be this way. We may have to actually come back if I haven't found it yet because I doubt I'll be able to take out these guys in time. Oh, I can't do skill one bit while I'm a baby. Damn it. I'm trying to get this done in time. Ah, I give up. I'm not going to get it in time. Cancel dork state. Alright, time to suffer. Okay, it just does it directly in front of me. But yeah, her power is fire because, well, it's red. Then they've been adding some element stuff to these to these things, so it kind of makes sense. All right, so they just gave us uh, that recipe. Is there any way for me to make like a make it three? Yeah, not worth it in the slightest. Mix a regular, and then add the three mulberries. There we go. Can we mix extra phosons into something to get something like weird? No. Okay. Whatever, it's nine free Phozons. That's some, basically some experience I never had before. Uh, huh. There doesn't seem to be any secrets. I'll look out for secrets as we go up here. I'm happy to, like, move back an area for, ah, I see. Okay, let's go back and get Minnie. There was a crack in the back there. Which should be obvious. Cracks tend to be in the back. You should either wear a belt and suspenders or pull the fucking pants up. But, you know, that's... That's some butt humor for you. I have the... I have the humor styles. I have the wit of an old man. Please forgive me. Whatever. At least we have, you know, better speed. Also, you can see that her chain is holding on to literally nothing. It kind of just cuts off. Can't notice that unless you're small. That's a lot of jumping. This time's kind of strict. We're more than halfway through it. There we go. Here we are. Ah, let's go. Can you 
Looks like it might have been required to do that. I don't know. Well, regardless, let's beat up this uh, sexy lady. Yeah, I'm sure that is a feeling pretty good. Oh, it burns. Did it burn? Did it hurt? Does it hurt? Bet it does. Oh, no, you got big. I guess you got big. <laughs> so, please excuse whatever sound I just made. Allow me to explain that, because that, that sounds a lot worse than it actually should be. Here's, here, here's how things go. Whenever you have, like, something in your throat, I feel like I have it more than an average person, because, like, you know, my job of choice is to talk for no good fucking reason. Uh, I feel that, you know, you, you get stuff in your throat, you know? Irritation makes you cough. And then you have this uncontrollable, you know, coffee thing. And in my mind, it's like, okay, I need to get that out of me. How do I do that? I need to cough and put as much force into it as possible. Which ends up making it sound disgusting. And it's also probably a little unhealthy. Hmm. Press, an, uh, press opposite direction to throw repeatedly. That is something worth trying. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Sling whip? I believe that's what I have, uh... No, no, that's what I'm trying to get. I think dancing chain isn't that good. But this thing? The sound, the concept. It has me intrigued. Man, these guys dropped quick. Didn't even get to test it properly. Ah, uh, this is a checkpoint. I can't even test it on you. I can test it on you, though. Okay, that's fucking awesome. There you go, you gotta be really quick with hitting the directions. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, fucking awesome move. Big fan of this. Oh, they're just burning to death. That's pretty that's pretty good. I can jive with that. It seems my throw also does damage to people on the impact as well. It does. I can just slam enemies into this damn unicorn. done. And then everyone around him dies because, well, they linked their souls to him. Why? I don't know. Patri patriotism, some some such. What the hell's, how much does Flare Shot take? Six. Okay, I was wondering why it wouldn't pop off. I thought it was five. I guess we could try the shrinking thing again. The things look hairy. I'm... Probably gonna bounce. It's kind of hard to figure out where I am at points here. Ah, I probably can't get up here easily without being a baby. 
Alright, cancel dwarfism. Alright. I don't like that. I kind of forgot that this was a gimmick in this, and it's actually pretty good. Poison. Chemical weapons always work out. I was gonna make a like a real world joke about chemical weapons and then decided no no. No. It's like not interesting. Okay. Hit that. What do we got? Yogurt. I'm full up on stuff. Uh, use a restore. There we go. Get some of my uh, PP back. Uh, I think with this, we're going to cut to the boss. I think we've been doing it. We did a decent amount of the gameplay here. So I'll see you when we fight the boss. I'll be a little bit stronger as I clear out the remaining pieces of the map. intrude in the palace while my mother is away in battle. Oh no! Princess Mercedes! What? You... Grandfather, did something happen? A thief defeated the knights and snuck into the palace. This woman is that thief. I can see that. You have something of ours. Return my mother's ring immediately. What was that? Is that the ring to Trell? This ring is at the center of this debacle. It belongs to Valentine. This abominable treasure has no place with fairies. It seems there's more to this story. But you are mistaken. The rightful owner of that ring surrendered it to us. It is ours. King Valentine passed away during the disaster. Your lies are transparent. I tell no lie. The ring was given to our queen. By the surviving Prince of Valentine. <gasps> prince? It can't be... Ingwe. Even if that's the case, I cannot return the ring. You are not going anywhere! Guards! Guards! I enjoy that in this story, it's like, all right, we need you to fight one of the other characters in the game. And it's like, okay, who are we gonna choose to get jobbed? Uh, fucking Megan Mercedes again. That's how it always happens. This poor, sweet child is just gonna have to catch these hands. <laughs> You're gonna have to make you scream. Don't make me bust out the fire. I'm gonna bust out the fire. She ain't gonna like it. She's also not gonna like the extreme toxin that she's about to start breathing. Alright. Uh, what now? Oh, some burning. Oh, that's a pretty good crit. Uh, let's drop that. That picks it up on top of her. And we're just about ready to finish her off. Not even giving her a chance to heal this time. Can't really allow that to happen. Oh, she's trying to reload, though. Can I grab her? I can't grab her. I have this lot to do. Eh, right, we're done here. Velvet! I'm relieved that you're all right. We were worried. Master. We, we can't let ourselves be seen. Hurry, we have to hide. So this is the ring that can stop the cauldron. This whole area is a war zone right now. No one will be able to come search for it. 
Father, is the king really trying to create another disaster? I know not the king's mind. But if the king wishes to use the cauldron for atrocity once again, the only one able to stop him is the one who knew him in life. It will be up to Princess Velvet. But I cannot bear to see the princess in such danger. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I did not give you that chain so you could act like a thief. Ingwe. Have you any idea how dangerous that ring is? Let me hold on to it, Velvet. Give me the ring. How do you know about this? We are twins. There is nothing you can hide from me. You said that Scaldi has friends in the Fairy Kingdom, did you not? If that chain makes you act so irrationally, shall I take it away? Don't glare at me like that. I'm just worried about you. I'm sorry if I've upset you. Please, just leave me alone. I will eventually get that ring. But first, how can I stop the prattling of those old men who talk of nothing but Titrell? 